Hi, welcome. There are a list of possible discomforts that creep in during perimenopause and postmenopause, and some of them are odd and unexpected. So strange, in fact, that you may not even associate them with menopause, but they're often related. Here are seven of those bizarre random pains. The first is tooth pain. Loss of estrogen and collagen in menopause can affect the teeth, gums, and saliva production and cause a great deal of discomfort. So many women complain about tooth pain and are convinced that they have bad teeth or cavities when in fact their teeth are perfectly fine. It happened to me in perimenopause. I went to the dentist on numerous occasions and even had x-rays because I didn't believe that my teeth were healthy. Tender gums and a burning mouth and tongue are also common occurrences in menopause. Adequate liquids, dry mouth products, B12, and collagen may help. Number two is random stabbing pain. It can occur anywhere, but many women commonly complain about these sudden discomforts under their breasts, especially the left one, in the area of the ovary and in and around the vagina. Loss of estrogen affects the nerves, inflammation and monthly cycles and increases collagen loss, weakening all of the tendons, ligaments, joints and connective tissues, all of which might explain these sudden sharp jabs in various areas of the body. No matter the cause, it's very troubling and unnerving. I often get these sharp jabs under my left breast or in my ovary, or at least in the area of my ovary. It only lasts for a few seconds, but it's enough to stop me and worry me. Similar to stabbing pain is electric zaps. They almost resemble bee stings, and I don't know how many times I've been convinced that invisible bugs are stinging or biting me, so I obviously experience these. The cause in menopause is not completely understood, but I believe that low estrogen's effects on the nervous system and skin changes due to loss of collagen may play a role. It happens to me frequently, so you would think I'd be used to it by now, but I still look like a nutball every time it hits me. Next is ear discomfort. When it happened to me, I never thought to associate it with hormone shifts in menopause, but after ruling other things out and looking into it, I realized it's completely related. There are estrogen receptors all over the body, and the ears are no exception. Many women experience dryness, itching, soreness, a plugged up sensation, and even tinnitus. I went through a phase in perimenopause where I was convinced I constantly had ear infections, and my ears always looked perfectly fine. Lately, my ears constantly feel plugged up, and of course tinnitus is always an annoyance. I clenched my jaw quite badly though, so I think in my case that may also play a role. Number five is burning skin. This particular discomfort has been shared with me numerous times by many women. It involves patches of burning skin. I frequently get this on my feet and all tests are normal, so menopause it is. It can actually be quite painful. It feels like your skin has a severe sunburn. This could be the result of a neurological blip due to loss of estrogen or maybe deficiencies or changes to the skin due to loss of collagen. Whatever the cause, finding a way to fix this particular pain for good would be a real blessing for many women. Groin pain is number six. I've had quite a few women share with me that they experience pain in the groin area, and I myself have had episodes where it feels like I've done the splits against my will. It was so sore last year that I actually went for a checkup and x-rays to make sure everything was okay. No UTI, kidney stones, cysts, enlarged lymph nodes, hip problems, nothing. Strange. I assume it may be related to changes to the pelvic floor or hip joint due to loss of estrogen or collagen, but I haven't found any definite explanations related to menopause. Next is foot pain. I've explained the sudden feeling of walking on marbles in menopause in some of my other videos, and so many women commented saying that they completely relate. This discomfort is also related to loss of estrogen and collagen, which affects all of the tendons and connective tissues in the feet. It seems to be at its worst when you get out of bed in the morning or when you stand to walk after sitting for long periods. It can truly feel like walking on dice or your grandkids' building blocks. So uncomfortable. It seems to me that the main contributing factors to much of the discomforts in menopause are loss of estrogen and collagen. 
both affect the body from head to toe. It's for this reason that I truly believe that every woman in midlife should be taking a quality collagen supplement for life. And while not everyone can use HRT, I think it's important that all women make the lifestyle changes necessary to try and balance hormones as effectively as possible. Are there any other strange random pains in menopause that you think should be added to the list? Share them in the comments. I wish each and every one of you health, happiness, and peace of body and mind, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.